What is going on guys? Chris Paternos, Comics and Pop Culture. Yes, I am outside of my comic book room. We're here at Zeppelin Comics in Benicia, California, guys. We're gonna go inside and take a look at this comic shop, so let's go. Alright guys, we got a little something in the bag from uh, Zephyr Comics. I'm going to go home and we're going to show you guys what we picked up today. Alright guys, here we are back at the house. Um, came home with the bag. Time to show you guys off. So, a little backstory of Zeppelin Comics. Uh, they've been around for a few years now. I uh, first went to their uh, store a couple years ago. They were at a smaller place in the same town of Benicia. And um, I, I went in there, bought a few things. They had some back issue bins uh, that were like a dollar, two dollars each, something like that. I can't really remember. But uh, going back today, they were in a new location. Really enjoyed the new location. I enjoyed the setup uh, in, in the field. And uh, Benicia is a town that's uh, right on the, uh, the bay. It's right on the water. Uh, so you're on First Street. You walk down just a few blocks and you're, you're right there on, on a beach. We went and hung out at the beach today. It was awesome after we stopped into the shop. But uh, I, I came away with a few things. One thing uh, that I was a little bummed about is they didn't have any back issues uh, in the store today. 
at least none out that I saw. Of course, they had some of the, you know, all the, the new releases. You could go back and see um, if they had the last, like, four to six months of stuff and, and whatnot. But, you know, I'm talking about actual back issue bins like they had when I went to their store two years ago. Couldn't find anything, but definitely happy to come away with something. Uh, and let's go into it, guys. Uh, first off, I got the Batman, uh, the Man Who Laughs trade. This was for my oldest son. I'm telling you, he is reading so much Batman right now. Um, so uh, it was really cool. Um, uh, I, I believe uh, the two were there were the owner and his wife. Uh, I, I didn't get their names, but the wife was... I was on the phone with my son because he, he wasn't in the store at the time. And I was like, what are you looking for? And we were talking. I'm like, I don't see it. And all of a sudden, I see this book in this hand show like like in front of my face. It's like, is this what you're looking for? So she uh, she found the book, and it was really awesome. I'm like, yes. So my son is uh, really happy uh, to have this. He'll be reading that uh, shortly. Uh, so let's see. I also got, so I've been collecting the um, Captain Marvel run, but for some reason, I don't think I ordered this issue 20 and 21, which I'm going to show off here in a minute. Um, this ha These came out when I was in between shifting my previews orders from Midtown to my comic shop. Really like this cover on 21. Alright guys, next up, Snake Eyes Dead Game number one. This was for my little dude. Looks sweet. And then he also picked out some Archie and Katie Keene. Number one. And number two. And then I got some, a few others. I got a Batman Detective Comics 854, uh, the dollar, the DC dollar reprints. Really cool uh, Bat Batwoman CW cover there. And then last but not least, I got two copies of the Marvel Action Avengers number 10, the IDW Young Reader uh, issues. This is the first appearance of Yellow Hulk. This has been a, uh, a nicely uh, talked about book. I got one for myself and one for my son. So really happy to find a couple of these. So yeah, guys, um, look. A comic book shop is a comic book shop for me. I'm really a back issue guy, so I, I love being able to find an LCS where I can dive into back issue bins. But um, this is just a really awesome shop to be able to have in your community uh, where you can get you, you know your new books, a nice collection of trade, uh, trade paperbacks, whether it's Marvel, DC, or Independence. Uh, really nice people. And if you want something local to, to where you can grab a pull list, um, they're there for you. So if you are in the Benicia area, Vallejo area, um, you know, check out Zeppelin Comics. I got their card right here. I'll have their information in the link below, guys. So go check them out. Uh, I almost bought that, that if you guys saw uh, earlier, the Batgirl shirt. But it was a small, and sometimes I could fit a small, but that one looked a bit too small. 40% off, though. Man, that was a dope shirt, but... Um, if they had a medium, I would have got it for sure. So, again, I'll leave their information below. So, big uh, thank you for, for the books from uh, Zeppelin Comics for letting us film inside their store today and give a little, uh, a little tour that I can share here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time.